I should rename this Megan talks about her hyperfixations for like 10 minutes solid but it's true <laughs> Hey guys, it's Megan or Mad Little Crafter here and today I am bringing you another Mad Little Chatter. I am hoping to get this up as soon as I finish filming it because I need things on my channel and it is summer vacation so therefore things will be on my channel because they need to be. That made complete and total sense, you know, but anyways, today is Tuesday the 20th, I believe. It is the day before I am leaving for VidCon, so this also serves as the announcement that I have mentioned multiple times on different social media platforms. I will be at VidCon just walking around, enjoying everything. I got the creator track this year, so I will be able to learn more about how to do this YouTube thing and how to hopefully in the future grow to be something fun. But, um, any who, the subject today of this beautiful mad little chatter is going to be a current musical that I have been listening to on repeat, which along with Newsies and Dear Evan Hansen has been the off-Broadway show Be More Chill. Now this show opened um, two years ago in a little theater called the Two River Theater in New Jersey, and um, I can count and do this at the same time. <laughs> I thought this was a great idea. Okay, there we go. We're starting. We're good. Um, it opened two years ago and suddenly it has exploded online. I remember I heard about it because I was just going through the interwebs and I saw someone's post that said the new musical Be More Chill, or is it, how is it, is like high school meets little shop of horrors with sci-fi and I was sold. So I pulled up the soundtrack, I like to listen to a soundtrack on my commute to school, and it was phenomenal. I've been listening to it ever since. Joe Iconis is a beautiful composer, and if I said your name wrong, I greatly apologize. I am horrible at the English language. Um, <laughs> but I've been listening to it ever since, and in my house, you know a musical is a good musical when my parents like secondhand leech it off of me um it was so funny the other day i've been listening to it and all of a sudden i was like walking by my parents room and my mom said something to my dad and she's like you're like that one song with the dude in the bathroom what's his name and i was like you mean michael in the bathroom she's like yeah and then she started singing my dad's name in place of that and also i have noticed when um, I get into the car and I play the music, my mom is starting to like slightly sing it. <laughs> and um, I don't know if she's aware of that or not, but I know she's like secondhand gotten that off of me, <laughs> which I think is great because that's, I don't know if that, that hasn't really happened with Newsies and it hasn't really happened with, um, with Dear Evan Hansen either, and I play those a decent amount. I mean, I was on a Newsies kick for a solid, long, long, long time. And um, I love how I didn't grab a stitch marker and I'm starting something. I'm making a backpack for VidCon. I'm making my little strawberry backpack. I'll pop the tutorial up over here. I think is where the eye bar is. Um, I'm making a pink one and a light gray one. But anyways, if you guys like musical theater in any sense, I would definitely give me more chill to listen to. It is on Spotify and it is on iTunes and it's great. Um, I know Adri's gonna shoot me for saying this, but um, <laughs> Adri wasn't a musical theater person and I have thoroughly gotten her into musical theater and it took one listen to to be more chill and now she loves it and she's created some beautiful fan art of it. And I have a mug actually of her artwork. You know, let's, let's just grab this. Things. Let's do this. I have like 20 stitch markers. Where are they? Oh yeah. All right. So this mug has Adri's artwork on it and it is beautiful. So there is the main character, Jeremy here, her interpretation of the squid. There is Christine Canigula and Michael Mel, and it is great. I've been using this mug as often as I can. So Let's just hope I don't spill my coffee by setting it on the floor. And I grabbed my stitch markers because <laughs> I do need those. But yeah, I've already created something from it. Um, I actually have a stockpile of small amigurumi sitting on my desk that I am finishing. I am doing one of each character of the cast um, simply because 
why not? <laughs> It'd be so cool to have a full set of them too. And then for my art fest at my school, which was kind of like an art walk, I submitted two crochet pieces and one of them was Jeremy here. If um, I think I, I showed him in my last video the crocheted version of him that I did. I showed that off and um, I know it's been extensively on my Instagram and my Twitter and stuff like that. And <laughs> which by the way, can we talk about how sweet the cast is? Because as soon as this exploded all over the internet, people were posting things on Twitter and Instagram and stuff like that. And everybody, just the whole cast and the, the writers and everybody has been so supportive of everyone. And I think that is just phenomenal because I know nothing makes an artist's day like someone recognizing something that they did out of um, their love for the show and stuff. And it's just... I, I love when people do that. It's just amazing and it's it's such a good feeling to everybody because I know a, a few people of the cast and um, crew liked Adri's artwork and she flipped out over that. Um, my things have been liked by the cast which I'm not gonna lie I legit teared up in the car um, a little bit and that sounds so sad <laughs> when I think about it but I legit teared up a little bit and um, it was it was great it was it's great you know everybody's phenomenal and I'm just gonna sit here and sing praises for like a full 10 minutes I think but if I could get my hands on the sheet music I would be playing that stuff on the piano non-stop and I would totally um, bring it into my voice teacher and be like hey here's this song can I like do the sing thing with this song pretty please that would be phenomenal um, <laughs> But yeah, I am, I currently on my desk, I have a Michael that's small, I have a Squip that's small, um, both of them are halfway completed. I started Chloe, um, Valentine, I started her head, and that sounds so, I sound, mm. to me it sounds so normal to talk about, like, crocheted body parts like that, but <laughs> I realize it sounds really weird when I'm like, I have heads sitting on my desk and a couple of arms just over there, because like the large Michael has a head and a leg, and uh, the large Squip has a head, and they're just on my desk. I just have body parts on my desk, and welcome to my channel. <laughs> it's fine, I swear, but um, yeah, so I have all of those started over there, and I love how I wrote a pattern for this and I'm not even following it. What are patterns? I'm just doing my thing, I guess. I'll just make this how I need to make this, because I decided to save everything to make for VidCon until the day before VidCon, um, like the procrastinator that I am, and now I'm sitting on my floor and filming a video instead of A, cleaning my room, and B, working on all the stuff that I need to work on. Um, well, I guess I'm kind of multitasking, but we all know I'm not gonna get as much done on this as I would with just 10 minutes sitting by myself and figuring that out. I might even just keep this one a shorter, um, mad little chatter just so it's not obnoxiously long. But, um, yeah, that's updates with my life, I guess, and hyper fixations, um, <laughs> I guess is the right way to put it. But if you guys have not checked out that musical, check it out. It is worth it. And if you haven't checked out any other musicals like um, Newsies or Dear Evan Hansen, please check those out too. You will love them. And if you don't, at least you listen to them and you know what some people are talking about now if any of your friends are theater nerds. Like I have been and always will be, my music collection is just musical theater. And I think it drives my friends nuts in the car, but you know what? I've they picked this friendship and they're dealing with it, so <laughs> there's no shame in that. But yeah, so if any of you guys are going to VidCon, I will be there and I will see you there. Hopefully it's just a fun place to be and do stuff. I know it's gonna be a great four days. Josiah and I have a hotel, so it's gonna be fabulous. It's gonna be a great little vacation and I am super excited for all of this to come. And that about wraps up this short but sweet mad little chatter. So thank you all for watching, guys. Um, go ahead, like, comment, and subscribe. I have all the stuff in the down bar below. I realize I didn't even mention that I opened a Patreon, but 
regardless I'll mention that in another video maybe I'll go fuller into detail with that because I got a little carried away with other things today so yeah I will see you guys next time bye